students, it's Mrs. Jarvis here. I am going to do a little video today to review using the bobsled when we're finding the least common multiple and the greatest common factor. Okay, let's say your teacher said to find the least common multiple and the greatest common factor for 60 and 42. Okay, so we're going to start out by sticking 60 and 42 in the bobsled. Okay, I'm going to think of a factor, that a number that's going to go into 60 and into 42 evenly with no remainder. So let's say that I couldn't think of anything other than 2. I know that 2 will go into 60 and 42 because they're both even numbers. So I'm going to start with 2. 2 goes into 60 30 times. 2 goes into 42 21 times. Now I'm going to look at 2 and I'm going to think again. Let's see. 30 and 21, well, I can think of a number that goes into 30 and that goes into 21. How about 3? 3 goes into 30 10 times. 3 goes into 21 7 times. Now that I'm down to 10 and 7, I'm thinking to myself that there's no other number that will go into 10 evenly with no remainder and 7 evenly with no remainder other than 1. So that's my stopping point. And right here I can draw a little g because that's going to remind me that this is my greatest common factor, 2 times 3. So 2 times 3 is 6. My greatest common factor is 6. Now the last thing I'm going to do is find my least common multiple. My least common multiple actually makes an L. If you use a bubble letter L, and you write down these numbers, 2 times 3 times 10 times 7. Let's see. 2 times 3 is 6. 6 times 10 is 60. And 60 times 7, well, let's see. 60 times 7. I'm going to show all of my work. 7 times 0 is 0, 6 times 7 is 42. So 420 is going to be my least common multiple for the numbers 60 and 42. Now somebody might say, wait a minute, instead of taking out a 2, I took out a 6. And actually that works too. Let's see what would have happened if I had done that. 60 and 42. Instead of taking out 2 like we did before, I know that 6 will go into both of these numbers. So 6 goes into itself into 60 10 times. And 6 goes into 42 7 times. Okay, well 10 and 7 don't have any other common factors. So I'm done with my bobsled. So 6 is going to be my GCF, my greatest common factor, just like we found before. And my least common multiple is going to be 6 times 10 times 7. Well, 6 times 10 is 60, and 60 times 7, as we found before, was 400. And 20. So my LCM is still 420. I hope that this explanation has helped you out today. And please keep practicing the bobsled method. Knowing your multiplication facts will really help you to think of factors. Have a great day.